A federal judge has ordered the U.S. Postal Service to sweep their mail processing facilities in Texas looking for any outstanding mail-in ballots. In order to be counted, those ballots had to be postmarked by Election Day and received by 5 this evening. KXAN's Avery Travis has the latest on the status of these sweeps. We're fresh it Saturday, Sunday, Monday, still had not received it. At that point, I was even sort of just scrolling through Google Flights of like, would it be possible to afford a flight to go home to vote? As a college student living out of state, Vanessa Kelson wasn't taking any chances getting her mail-in ballot back to Texas in time, instead opting to pay for express shipping. Not everyone, especially in a global pandemic and an economic recession, can just drop $11 for a piece of paper to be shipped back home. She says picturing people's ballots sitting left behind in a mail processing facility is an awful thought, but that's a real concern raised earlier this year by an audit of the Postal Service. In a hearing on Wednesday, a U.S. District Judge slammed the agency, saying someone may have to pay the price for their failure to fully comply with an order to sweep facilities in battleground states for any mail-in ballots. Thirteen ballots were found in Pennsylvania, but USPS says they couldn't complete all the checks by the judge's election day deadline. So he ordered another round of checks at Texas facilities Wednesday afternoon. And according to our partners at the Texas Tribune, 815 ballots were found and delivered to Texas. Texas elections offices. Well, we had the same great idea. We were going to ask the post office to go and make a final sweep through. But the Travis County clerk says she's not worried. I don't even think they're going to find any caches of ballots anywhere, but I appreciate them double checking. Avery Travis, KXAN News. Travis County clerk says voters cast more than 600,000 ballots in the county. About 11% were mailed. The clerk noted they still need to count a few hundred mail-in ballots. We're working to get more details from USPS about where inspectors found those 815 Texas ballots. This all goes back to systemic changes made by Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. When he took over in June, he instituted cost-cutting measures. DeJoy told Congress that the changes were approved before he took office. But they included cuts to overtime and cracking down on late delivery trips. Mail drops and sorting machines were also removed. Many of those changes were reversed or suspended after lawsuits were filed, but they did slow down service to many areas for months. The federal judge who ordered the mail-in ballot sweeps said he would force DeJoy to testify in court about how the USPS handled the election.